Hey guys, ever dreamed of that super smooth Google Pixel experience on your Android phone? Well, check this out. This is my 6-year-old Poco F1. And as you can see, it's running Android 15 with MIUI 12.0. But wait a second. Yes, it's running Pixel OS with Android 15. Pixel OS gives you the same look, feel and performance as a real Google Pixel phone, including that clean UI, better battery life and built-in privacy features. And in this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how to install Pixel OS on any supported Android phone without root. So watch this video till the end and follow every step carefully to avoid errors or boot loops. Alright, before we begin, make sure your bootloader is unlocked. If it's not, don't worry. I've made another video showing exactly how to unlock it safely. Also, this process will erase all data on your phone. So please take a full backup before flashing Pixel OS. Once you've done all that, let's get started. Alright, for this tutorial, I'm using the Poco F1 running Android 10. But don't worry, this method works on any Android phone. Now let me quickly show you if my device is rooted or not. I'll open the Root Checker app. And yes, as you can see, my device is not rooted. And that's totally fine because root access is not required to install Pixel OS custom ROM. Alright, the first step in installing any custom ROM is to enable developer options. So open your settings, then scroll down and tap on about phone. Here you'll see build number or MIUI version. Just tap on it seven times until you see a message saying you are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to system settings or additional settings and there you'll find developer options. Open it up. As you can see, my bootloader is already unlocked. Make sure yours is unlocked too, otherwise the installation won't work. Now scroll a little further down and enable USB debugging. This step is very important. It allows your phone to communicate with your PC so we can flash the Pixel OS ROM successfully. Once that's done, it's time for step 2, downloading the Pixel OS ROM. So, let's move over to the PC screen. On your computer, open any browser and go to pixelos.net. This is the official website to download all Pixel OS ROM files. On the downloads page, you'll see a list of all the devices that are officially supported by the Pixel OS team. You'll notice almost every major brand like OnePlus, Xiaomi, Samsung and Motorola. Now go ahead and search for your device. In my case, I'll look for Poco F1 and there it is. Once you find your phone, click on it to open the device page. Here you'll see the latest available builds. Make sure to download the stable version for the best experience. Click download and wait for the file to finish. It might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Next, we also need to download two more important files, the recovery file and the super empty file. First, download the recovery image from the same Pixel OS device page where you got your ROM file. I also recommend reading the installation instructions once. The method is mostly the same for all Android phones, but some devices may need different files. Now for the super empty file, open the official XDA thread for your device and download it from there. And there it is. Let's grab that too. Alright, now that we have our three files, it's time to install Pixel OS. Before we continue, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me make more tutorials like this. Alright, also download platform tools from the link in the description and extract the folder. Open the folder. You'll see ADB and fastboot files inside. Now in that folder, click on the address bar, type CMD and press enter. This will open the command prompt right inside the platform tools folder. First, make sure your phone is connected to the PC, then type ADB devices. The first time you run it, you'll see a USB debugging pop-up on your phone. Just allow permission and run the command again. Once you see your device serial number, that means your phone is successfully connected. Next type ADB Reboot Bootloader. This will boot your phone into fast boot mode. Wait a few seconds until it's boot into fast boot mode. And yes, our phone is now in fast boot mode. To double check, type fast boot devices. 
and you should see your device connected in fast boot mode. Now let's flash Pixel OS recovery. First, wipe the super partition by typing fast boot wipe super and path of super empty file. You can just drag and drop the file into the command window and press enter. Once that's done, flash the recovery by typing fast boot flash recovery and path of recovery file. Again, drag and drop the recovery file and hit enter. And yes, both files are now flashed. It's time to boot the device into recovery mode. Press and hold volume up plus power together until the device vibrates or the screen goes black and device will boot into recovery mode. Now we are in Pixel OS recovery. First, we need to format the data for a clean installation. Choose Factory Reset and then Wipe Data. This will delete all the data and files from your phone. Once that's done, go back and select Apply Update and then Apply from ADB. Your device will now boot into sideload mode. Now on PC, if you type ADB devices, you should see your device listed in sideload mode. Now it's time to install the Pixel OS ROM. So type ADB sideload and drag and drop the ROM file into terminal. And yes, flashing has now started. It might take a few minutes to complete, so just wait patiently. Let me fast forward this process. And yes, ROM is now flashed. As you can see, message installation complete with status zero. This means the ROM was flashed successfully. Now simply select reboot system now. Your device will boot into Pixel OS. The first boot might take four to five minutes, so don't worry. After that, you'll see the Pixel OS setup screen, ready to enjoy the clean Google Pixel experience. And yes, the device is now booted into Pixel OS. It's running smooth, clean and fast, just like a real Google Pixel phone. Let's quickly confirm in settings. And yes, as you can see, our device is running Android 15 with Pixel OS installed. And that's it. Your phone is now fully running Pixel OS with Android 15. Enjoy the smooth UI, Pixel features and clean performance on your device. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.